Hello, welcome to the Wisconsin Maritime Museum's Wisconsin's Underwater Treasures Program. I am Shane Lee, the Youth Engagement Coordinator at the museum. When we talk underwater treasures, we mean shipwrecks. Based on shipping records, we believe there are 750 shipwrecks in Wisconsin, and we know there should be 122 in this area alone. We have the known location of 40 of those shipwrecks. 14 of them are still intact, and four of them have upright masts, which is totally awesome. Half of the 40 located shipwrecks lie in less than 130 feet of water. That number is important because that is the farthest down a scuba diver can safely go. People need special equipment to dive down and explore these underwater treasures. That's where wetsuits come in. It's made of neoprene, and it does allow some water to get inside, but it traps it and keeps it really close to your body, so you can use your body heat to heat up that water and keep you warmer. But sometimes that's not quite warm enough in the cold waters of Lake Michigan. And that is where the dry suit comes in. So no water gets inside the dry suit, so it keeps you dry and warm. Modern diving equipment weighs approximately 75 pounds and allows divers to stay underwater for around four and a half hours. The hard hat diver suit, used from the 1820s through the 1870s, weighed about 150 pounds. Not only was the hard hat diver suit extremely heavy, you also did not have your own oxygen tank like modern divers have. So there would have been a hose leading from the suit all the way up to the boat where a friend would be turning this crank to pump fresh oxygen to you. One end of the hose would go in one side of the helmet with fresh air and the other end of the hose would carry the old air out. So you were completely dependent on somebody else to keep you alive. The hard hat diver had no flashlight, so the person had to feel around blindly with huge mittens on his or her hands. You can pretend you are a hard hat diver right in your own home. Just close your eyes, wear your mittens, and try to identify different objects placed in front of you by someone you trust. Have fun, divers!